For this project, I needed to dig a trench from our pole building up to the house. I'd already prepped near the house around the electric line by digging down and prepped my water line going underneath the house. Under the foundation area, I put the water line through an inch and a half PVC to come up into the crawl space. Here I have all the water line prepped and this connection actually turned into a T rather than a coupler. You'll see in just a little bit why. I can't confirm or deny this working, but I have been told that copper sulfate will keep roots away from a water line if there is a small leak or anything. So I'm going to buy a tree. So I'm just putting this down just in case. So here you can see I have marked out where I would like to trench and go out to the pole building. And then here's where I decided to end up teeing off so I can have a frost proof hydrant out by where we park our vehicle and having a hose available for the front of our house. I went ahead and prepped the electric line before trenching and this will provide 100 amp service to the building. I had to chisel out the holes for the water line and electric because I had forgot to put the PVC in when we poured the cement. As we were doing this, I definitely was eyeing up the dirt and how good it looked for doing a garden. Here is where we ran into a problem of an old tree stump root area and there was only a small section that I was actually able to hand dig it to the building. Therefore the rest of this part of the day did not get filmed and I was able to capture our last bit at the end of the day. My next step I wanted to take was to insulate the water line as good as possible to prevent any freezing during the winter since this was coming up to an exterior wall. So I purchased this insulation wrap and I'm going to put the whole roll around the water line. Because of how small the area was to work with I had to cut little strips and tape them onto the water line and just keep adding over top of the other insulation strips until I had finished the whole roll. After that, I wanted to create a secondary barrier with extra foam board that I had left. So as you can see, I'm placing the foam board in between the water line and the electric conduit. I wanted this to act as an extra barrier that goes from two feet underground to what will be a heated area up inside the shed. And to fill all the gaps, I used the spray foam that is for big gaps up to three inches.
My next thing to do before filling in the rest of the dirt was to install the frost-proof hydrant. And now finally came the time to fill in all the dirt. I only captured some of this process and currently today this is what the trench area is finished off looking like. I still currently do not have the electric connected into the building or into the house which will be coming in future videos. I hope this video helped you out maybe with any projects you have in mind and thanks for watching.